Hello students, I am Anuj Kundare, the Assistant Professor of Electronic Science. Welcome back to our e-learning platform. In previous video, we have seen the concept of the Zener diode as a voltage regulator. The link of the previous video is available in the description box. Please check it. Now, in this video, we are going to see the voltage regulators in the IC form. Generally, there are two ICs available for as a voltage regulator named as 78XS and 79XX. Here the XX represents the number that means 7805, 7909 etc. Okay. Now let's start our topic the voltage regulator ICs. First of all we have to know the basic idea about the voltage regulator and we have seen this concept in previous videos also. Let's see once again. A voltage regulator generates a fixed output voltage of a preset magnitude that remains constant regardless of changes to its input voltage or load conditions. The voltage regulator is used for two main reasons and they are to vary or regulate the output voltage and to keep the output voltage constant at the desired value in spite of variations in the power supply voltage. In previous video, we have seen the pow uh, power supply such as this is the block diagram of the power supply in which the first block is the transformer. Okay, The transformer secondary is connected to the rectifier. The rectifier output is connected with the capacitor and after capacitor, the output is given to the voltage controller block. Okay, That means in transformer, transformer converts, here we use step down type transformer. Hence, the output of the transformer is AC, but this AC is less in magnitude than the primary of the transformer. Okay, Then, rectifier converts this AC waveform into the pulsated DC waveform. Capacitor removes ripples from it. Then after the capacitor there is some ripples also present in the output. This output is called as the unregulated DC output and we want here the constant DC output. Okay. Hence for that purpose we use a voltage regulator block. Okay, we use a voltage regulator block. This voltage regulator block removes the ripples from the DC voltage and makes it constant or steady voltage like this. Okay, hence here we can use the voltage regulator as the Zener diode and also we can use the voltage regulator ICs like 7805, 7912, etc. Okay. That means the basic function of the voltage regulator is that to constant to give the steady and the constant DC voltage. Okay. I hope you all understand the concept of voltage regulator here. Now let's see the voltage regulator ICs. First of all, we have to know that what is mean by IC or what is the long form of IC. IC stands for the integrated circuits. Okay. IC stands for integrated circuit. Now these voltage regulators are available in the IC forms. The voltage regulator is one of the most frequent used electronic circuitry in any device. The regulated voltage without fluctuations and noise level is very important for the smooth functioning of the many digital electronic devices. The common case is with microcontrollers or microprocessors where a smooth regulated input voltage must be supplied for the microcontroller to function smoothly. Voltage regulators are also available in integrated circuits that means in IC forms these are called as the voltage regulator ICs. Okay. Now let's see the types of voltage regulator ICs. There are mainly two types of voltage regulators. First one is fixed voltage regulator and second one is adjustable voltage regulator. The fixed voltage regulator means 
this voltage regulator ic is gives fixed amount of voltage okay and the adjustable voltage regulator gives the variable voltage the variable voltage okay i hope you all understand the basic difference between the fixed voltage regulator and adjustable voltage regulator that means the fixed voltage regulator gives plus 5 volt dc or minus 5 volt dc plus 9 volt dc or minus 9 volt dc etc adjustable voltage regulator gives the range from 1 sorry 0 volt to 5 volt 0 volt to 12 volt etc okay i hope you all understand the fixed voltage regulator and adjustable voltage regulator in this video we are going to see only the fixed voltage regulator and its type okay a fixed voltage regulator produces a fixed dc output voltage which is either positive or negative in other words some fixed voltage regulators produce positive fixed dc voltage values while other produce negative fixed dc voltage values the 78 xs voltage regulator ics produce positive fixed dc voltage values whereas 79 xs voltage regulator ics produce negative fixed dc voltage values that means if we use the ic labeling 78 xs it gives the positive dc voltage and if we use the 79 xx ic then it gives the negative dc voltage values for example if we use 7805 that means this ic gives us 5 volt dc but the this 5 volt is positive and if we use 7905 that means it gives us minus 5 volt dc i hope you all understand the 78 xs and 79 xs voltage regulator ics now let's see the more details about ic 78 xs the 78 xs series of ic regulator is representative of three terminal device that are available with several fixed positive output voltage it has three terminals labeled as input output and ground that means the 7 it xs ic has or the ic is made up of three terminals out of these three terminals first one is input second one is ground and third one is output okay now let's see next point here the last two digits mark xs in the part number designates the output voltage that is 7805 gives the positive 5 volt dc output 7812 gives the positive 12 volt dc output 7815 gives the positive 15 volt dc output okay now this is the pin diagram of 78 series voltage regulator ics here pin number 1 is the input pin the pin number 2 is the ground pin and pin number 3 is the output pin i hope you all understand the pin diagram of the 78 series voltage regulator ic let's see once again the pin number 1 is input pin pin number 2 is the ground pin and pin number 3 is the output pin that means we can connect the input or unregulated supply to pin number 1 and pin number 2 and we can take the regulated output or the constant output from pin number 3 and pin number 2 okay this is the circuit connections for the 78 series voltage regulator ics the above figure shows the standard configuration of a fixed positive voltage ic regulator of 78 series okay in this diagram we can see here that the pin number 1 is the input pin number 2 is the ground and pin number 3 is the output here if we look at the diagram then we can see here that there are two capacitors connected at the input side and the output side also 
okay let's see the function of this capacitor the capacitor c1 this capacitor is required only if the power supply filter is located more than 3 inches from the ic regulator the capacitor c0 acts basically as a line filter or to improve the transient response let's see the details about this capacitor in this diagram here we can see here that the two capacitors are connected one is connected at the input side other is connected at the output side what is the basic function of these capacitors or what is the purpose of these capacitors let's see the capacitors used with ic78 series here first to filter or to remove ac noise or ripples we know that the capacitor is an electronic component which is used to allow ac and blocks dc okay that means if here we have the supply like ac plus dc then ac components will filter or bypass through the capacitor and goes to the ground okay now to improve the transient response protection against surges to increase the stability to remove the deposited charges from the ic terminals during the regulation and to increase the reliability of the circuit hence for that purpose these two capacitors are used okay now let's see the features of 78 series ic voltage regulator the first feature is it is a three terminal regulator internal short circuit current lim limiting output current up to 1.5 ampere output transistor safe area compensation internal thermal overload protection and high power dissipation capability is are the ad, uh, features of the 78 series ic voltage regulator the advantages of 78 series ic voltage regulator is given below here the first advantage is that it don't doesn't require any external device to supply constant regulated power okay that means only 78 series ic gives us the constant or steady positive dc supply the second advantage is that it is very cheap and it is very easy to use the third advantage is that they have protection against drawing too much power overheating and short circuit and the last advantage is that the current limiting features of 78 series ic not only protect the regulator but also protect other parts of the circuit in the same situations okay these are the advantages of the 78 series ic voltage regulators now let's see the disadvantages of the 78 series ic voltage regulators the first disadvantage is that input voltage must be always greater than the output voltage that means if we want 5 volt constant dc supply then the out input should be greater than the output that means the input should be greater than the 5 volt supply okay that is for 5 volt output from 7805 input voltage must be greater than 7.5 voltage okay the second point is that input current required and the output current of 78 series is same but the output voltage is always less than the input voltage which means some amount of power is dissipated as heat inside the regulator so proper heat sinking mechanism must be implemented that means for 78 series voltage regulator ics we use a proper heat sink arrangement this loss of power also decreases the efficiency of the regulator this efficiency becomes more significant if the input voltage is very higher than the output voltage that is powering 7805 using 24 volt supply that means the disadvantages of the voltage regulator is that the output voltage should be less than the input voltage that means the difference between the input voltage and output voltage that amount of difference create heat in the voltage regulator this heat or this excessive heat may damage the voltage regulator and the other circuits or other 
devices in the electronic circuit for that purpose we have to use a heat sink in the voltage regulator this is the main disadvantage of 78 series voltage regulator ics okay now let's see the ic 79 series voltage regulators the 79 series voltage regulator is representative of three terminal device that are available with several fixed negative output voltage it has three terminals labeled as input output and ground the last two digits mark xs in the part number designates the output voltage that is 7905 gives negative 5 volt dc output 7912 gives negative 12 volt dc output 7915 gives the negative 15 volt dc output okay that means we can understand here that the 78 series and the 79 series ic's are similar but the only difference is that the 78 series ic's gives us the positive dc voltage values while the 79 series gives us the negative voltage or the negative dc voltage values okay the pin diagram is also similar with the 78 series ic's the pin number first is sorry here the pin diagram is slight difference the pin number first is ground pin number second is input and pin number third is the output okay now let's see the circuit connection here the pin number first is ground pin number second is input and pin number third is output the ic79 series is used in circuits as shown in the circuit in order to improve stability two capacitors c1 and c2 are used that means c1 and c2 are used here to improve the stability of the circuit the capacitor c1 is used only if the regulator is separated from the filter capacitor by more than 3 inches it must be 2.2 microfarad solid tantalum capacitor or 25 microfarad aluminum electrolyte capacitor the capacitor c2 is required for stability usually 1 microfarad solid tantalum capacitor is used one can also use 25 microfarad aluminum electrolyte capacitor okay now let's see the features of 79 series ic voltage regulator the first feature is that its output current is 1.5 ampere high ripple rejection 4% tolerance on preset output voltage and thermal short circuit and safe area protection these are the features of the 79 series voltage regulator ics now here we can see here that the two ics 78 series and 79 series is shown in which we can see here that the pin diagrams are different that means the pin number first of the 78 series is input while the pin number first of the 79 series is the ground the pin number second of 78 series is ground while the pin number second of the 79 series is input the pin number 3 of the 78 series and 79 series are the output terminal okay i hope you all got the basic difference between 78 series and 79 series voltage regulator ics and its pin diagrams okay here the connections are shown in which we can see here that the 78 series ic the input is connected between pin number first and pin number second and the output is taken between pin number second and pin number third while in 79 series the input is connected between pin number 2 and pin number 1 and the output is taken from pin number 3 and pin number 1 the basic difference between the 78 series and 79 series the voltage regulator ic is that the 78 series gives us the positive dc voltage while the 79 series gives us the negative dc voltage this is the main difference between 78 series and 79 series voltage regulator ic i hope you all understand this concept thank you